Well, guys, this is our second episode of Playing Where They're Laying Year. And this is a great episode. And we have a couple of first times in this episode. So come along, join us. We're back to our old stomp grounds in southern Utah. And uh, let us know what you think. All right, well, we are back to our old stomper grounds in southern Utah today because Jace Wayne has a baseball tournament down here, but he doesn't play till later today, late tonight. So we are going to do a little bit of shed hunting real quick. So little Miss Maddie said she wanted to come shed hunting with us today. So we brought her shed hunting. Been walking for a bit and haven't seen nothing. I saw three does, that's about it. What do you think, Maddie? I think I'm going to find a horn. You're going to find a horn. <laughs> she thinks she's going to find a horn. So we have been walking for a bit now and haven't found anything, but I haven't seen a lot of fresh tracks or anything like that, but we just found a whole bunch of deer right over here on this ridge, right here. And so we don't want to push them or nothing. We'll uh, kind of figure out another way to go, but there is a bunch of them over there. What do you think, Maddie? Any bucks in them? I can't see that far. I can't see any bucks in them either, so we'll move on to something else. So, what do you think, Maddie? You having fun? Yes, but For, it's very cold. But it's very <laughs> cold. Anyways, we'll give them their room to winter and not bug them and uh, move on to something else. How far up was that fence up there? So we found a fence, a new fence that's right up here that has not been here before. And so we got wondering if somebody bought up some private property. So we're gonna check Onyx maps and see if it is private property. If you haven't got uh, Onyx maps or don't know anything about Onyx maps, you need to get Onyx because it is awesome shows you where all the private property is so yeah it does look like it's private property we're right here on all the BLM land right here we're right here and it gets right into private property right there at the fence line so guess we got to stay this side of the fence so on next maps you need to get it if you don't have it so it is windy, windy, but Jace just yelled. I heard him just yell, and he said that he's found a deadhead. So we're gonna track right over here and see if we can get up with him and see what this deadhead looks like. All right, we caught up to Jace, and he did find a deadhead for sure. Check this out. Check that out. Nice little four-point deadhead. Very cool. We will uh, mark this on our Onyx and uh, get some uh, GPS coordinates and give it to the fishing game officers. That's pretty awesome. You what? Talk to the camera, man. I was picking some berries and I saw some hair and I saw the deadhead. And then you saw the deadhead, huh? Picking some berries, saw some hair, and then found a deadhead. Sweet!
All right, Maddie, so since this is your first time out, we're gonna teach you a lesson about shed hunting, okay? Okay. So you see right here, uh -huh. there's this trail right here that's got some good tracks on it. Uh-huh. What do you see right above the trail? Trees. Tree limbs, right? Mm-hmm. So every once in a while, when the deer go down the trail, the bucks have their heads up too high and they'll catch their horns on the tree limbs above their heads and knock them off. So when, you, when you're when you shed hunting, you always look for trails that go underneath trees because that's a good spot to find them. Okay. Cool, huh? Yeah. Well, yeah. we've been walking all morning and haven't found anything. Just that dead head that Jay's found. It's a pretty sweet little dead head. But uh, I just found the find of the day. The find of the day. You want to see it? It's pretty sweet. Check this out. Right here. Oh, yeah. Check that out. I think that I need to wear it. Replace my old horn hunter hat. Yeah, maybe not. That's pretty nasty. I don't think so. Horn hunter's going back on it. <laughs> so we're almost, almost back to the car. I'm gonna see if I can trick Jason, Maddie, and tell them I found something for them. So see how fast they come running. Hey, Jace, Maddie! Jace, Maddie, I found something for you. Found a boat. No, I found a hat for you to wear. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sweet hat, huh? Cool. Got dirty by us. <laughs> you like that hat, Jace? You gonna wear it? Put it on, let's see. Man, <laughs> they thought I had found a horn. Nope, no horns for this trip. The problem was right, right where we wanted to get back in there, there was a whole herd of deer. And so, we couldn't get in there. We had to pick a new spot, different area, so we didn't, so we didn't bug them and uh, bump them out of where they were feeding and stuff. So we chose to go a different spot, and we didn't find anything. But I think there's going to be a lot of horns right back in there, in that spot. So we're going to uh, bail out of here, go get ready for Jason's baseball games, and then we'll try to get back at it tomorrow morning. So it was a lot of fun. We, we had a great time out in Southern Utah. We uh, had a couple of firsts. Maddie on her first ever shed hunting trip with us. And Jace, he picked up his first ever deadhead. Uh, he was really excited about that. It was a great find. Uh, we actually contacted the DWR, gave him the GPS coordinates, and uh, the fish and game officer was able to go out and check it out and actually gave us that head that night uh, as we were at Jace's baseball game. So he made the trip down and gave it to us, and uh, Jace was really excited. So really great fun video we had. Um, another great one coming up, uh, playing where they're laying, uh, year episode three. Uh, it's a really good one, too. Uh, but in the comments below, I want to know what tips and tactics you would give to a first-time ever shed hunter. Uh, that person that goes out with you that's never been out shed hunting before, what tips and tactics would you tell them so that it would help them find uh, uh, shed horns easier? Um, anyways, thanks guys for subscribing. We really, really appreciate it. Um, it's, it means a ton to us. Uh, check out our website. we got some great things on our website. You can see our videos. You can, see, uh, you can buy our apparel, Nimrod hats, uh, shirts, things like that. Um, and uh, make sure to sp support our sponsors. You can connect to uh, our sponsors' pages, all of our sponsors' pages on our website there as well. And uh, last but not least, don't forget to subscribe. Really appreciate it, guys. Thanks so much. Talk to you later.